So this is the London Throwdown. Um, we have arrived here from Belfast in Northern Ireland. Uh, this was something that we wanted to do, a number of competitions, so that we could get over our anxieties about performing in front of people. Knowing that I have something imminent, like a competition, it really kind of gives you that urgency to kind of practice and prepare and do your best you can. We've turned up at the biggest disadvantage we could have of exhaustion, but it's something for us to power through and to have this experience of being in London. Everything is so overwhelming. We just saw like two kids chasing each other, one of them with a knife. And if you're going to host a swing event, you know, just get on to somebody about the knife <laughs> crime issue in London. <laughs> challenge and the biggest fear that we had about this competition is that at some point we're going to take ourselves too seriously. When we dance a competition the pressure turns on and you want to be big and flashy and showy but we want to keep it to what we love to do. A lot of the people here they all know each other and they cheer and kind of for us it's kind of like, like an intimidating silence. Yeah we go on and it's just know. silence. of this competition was far higher, I think, than we expected, yeah. but also low enough to have us in it, so it was a bit of a, a balance there. It's an honour to be anywhere near that level of, like, competition levels. or the floor is nothing like what you expected and you turn up and you're tired and you're stressed and then that's really when you find out what kind of dancer you really are. It, more than anything, I think it motivates, motivates us to kind of push ourselves to the limit and really keep continuing on that swing journey. I think we did one particular move and uh, it got like quite a few chairs and we kind of like loved that, the fact that like we're kind of unheard of and we did this one move and it was, it was awesome. in love with this music, with the people, with the fashion, with everything about this dance. I needed to keep doing this and it took over my life and that's exactly what I want to do with my life now. that pressure that you feel in this competition environment and I want to win like when I saw them performing that today that, that feeling of having that crowd cheering you on that's really that's really something <laughs> together routine both of us contributed we had some help from other mentors uh, and and that yeah. was damn stressful <laughs> that was our rising stars strictly first place champions our challenge tree and
everyone was super talented. Uh, I don't envy their decision, but there were some damn worthy competitors yeah. in each category, and yeah, they well. definitely made the right decision. Yeah. Also, getting the opportunity to dance with these people who are just so talented is just a real, real treat. Personally, I'm at the point of I'm pretty exhausted. <laughs> when you see something like that, that kind of environment, where else do you see that kind of energy and happy people who are willing to dance completely in this mania for like nine hours straight and still come out smiling at the end? So I think it definitely exceeded um, any expectations that we had.